Magandang araw mga kababayan! Today we're making custard cake. Everybody thinks that this cake is hard to make but just watch this video and you will learn how to make it after. Here are ingredients. Cake flour, eggs, baking powder, sugar, oil, vanilla, and milk. I will list the other ingredients as we go along. Meron kasi siyang um, ingredients for the custard at meron din siyang ingredient for the syrup. So just keep on watching. Let's start baking. We'll start with the syrup. So we have sugar on this pan. We will caramelize the sugar. Uunawin lang natin yung sugar on medium high heat. And when it looks like this, just add water. Just let it boil. And kapag ganito na yung itsura at marami ng bula, ibig sabihin ready na to. Turn it off and then pour the syrup at the bottom of your pan. Then tilt it so it will be distributed sa ilalim ng inyong baking pan. Itong recipe ito, with this recipe, pwede kayong gumamit ng round o kaya naman square pan like this. Ang gawin naman natin ang chiffon cake. On my bowl, I have flour. And then we will add the baking powder and then the sugar. Magsasama-samahin lang natin yung dry ingredients tapos haluin lang natin. Then make a well on the middle. And on the well, i-add lang natin ang ating oil, ang milk, and vanilla. Kalahati lang ang ilalagay natin. The other half will use it for the actual custard. Pagkatapos, this is another bowl with cream of tartar on the middle. We will just separate the eggs. So, yung egg white, it goes on the bowl with cream of tartar. You can use your hand to separate the eggs or do like what I'm doing right here. I'm just breaking the shell and I use the actual shell to separate the egg white and the egg yolk. So we will do this for the rest of the eggs. Iingatan nyo lang na hindi malagyan ng egg yolk ang inyong egg white. Kasi this kind of cake is a little bit more delicate kasi dun sa ibang klase ng cakes. But kung hindi nyo naman maiwasan, there's a method para maalis yung egg yolk na napasama. But that's for another video. So, haluin mo lang ng dahan-dahan. You start from the middle going out. Uh, this part is not very delicado. You can add milk if you think you don't have enough on your initial pouring. Diretso lang natin yung paghahalo. And... Try to make sure na talagang pino na siya kapag ka huminto kayo. Just keep on mixing it. I would suggest do it in one direction. Minsan yung kasing paghahalo nakakaapekto sa magiging luto ng cake. So try stirring it in one direction, just clockwise. And then set it aside. On this bowl with egg white, simula nating ibit ang egg. I'm using a hand beater. You can use a stand mixer or just the whisk. If your hands are strong enough, you can use whisk. Um, that's how I first learned to bake. Back in school, ang ginamit namin is manual whisk. Um, either way, as long as um, you will get your result, it doesn't matter. When you get to this point, ganito na yung consistency ng inyong egg white. Yan yung tinatawag na soft cake na egg white. Lalagay nyo na ng gradually yung asuhan. So, huwag nyo mamadaliin kasi it could cause na mag-deflate yung inyong egg white. So, gradually, dahan-dahan lang. And then, keep on beating. After you pour all your sugar, beat it for another 50 rounds until you reach yung consistency na stable na yung inyong egg white. This is another thing. Just beat this in one direction. That's one important thing dito sa egg white lalo. Delikado kasi to. There you go. This is the hard pick na tinatawag. 
Tapos, uh, when you're done with this, ready na nating i-add ang ating egg yolk mixture. And then, as you're adding it, you just, you just blend it using the cut and fold method. So, fold, and then you cut, fold, and then you cut. This is how you will get a really good, very fine consistency of a chiffon cake. You're not inviting too much air sa inyong paghahalo. So, remember to do it as cut and fold. Dahan-dahan lang hanggang the whole mixture is blended properly. Yung even na yung kulay ng, ng inyong batter. And then, we can set it aside. Now, on another bowl, we will make our custard. I'm using one whole egg. And then, you separate again the egg whites from the egg yolk. This time, we're using three egg yolks on this custard. If you want to make it a thicker custard, you can use four egg yolks instead of just three. Just whisk your egg yolks. And then you add the rest of the vanilla and then add the sugar and then add the condensed milk keep on whisking your mixture for a finer custard and then your evaporated milk just keep on whisking until you are you can see that your mixture is fine hindi siya maraming hangin Kasi yung hangin na yun, yung nagiging butas-butas sa inyong custard. And you don't want that. You want it to be really delicate. The thing with the custard for me, I don't make it too thick. Hindi kasi kami mahilig sa masyadong matamis. Kaya the custard is just a little bit thinner on this recipe. But like what I've said, you can always add one more egg yolk. And then now it's ready. Pwede na natin siyang ipour dito sa ating pan na merong syrup sa ilalim. Um, use a fine strainer para mas pino pa ang ating custard. Lalagay na natin ang ating cake batter. So, just pour it all over your pan. Huwag kayong matatakot na parang hindi magsisettle ang custard kasi nga mukhang sasama siya sa inyong cake batter. Just leave it like that and then this is now ready to bake. Ang ating oven, I preheated it at 350 degrees. And we're using water bath for this. So, we have a pan, another bigger pan at the bottom. Lalagyan lang natin yan ng tubig. At least one-third ang tubig niya dun sa pan. Pagkatapos, ready na natin ilagay sa gitna ang cake. We will bake this for 50 to 60 minutes. Kapag tapos na yung timer nyo, you can test if it's ready when you stick a toothpick in the middle at nag-come out na siyang clean. Just let it cool down. Our custard cake is ready. Kain tayo! Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time!